Hello Finance fans, look at a few stocks here that you might want to consider for your portfolio if you are looking at stocks to either buy or uh, perhaps if you have them in your portfolio you might think about selling them. Uh, there are a lot of changes coming in the next decade of course and for anyone who just wants a safe bet I would uh, say bet on an energy stock a well uh, known energy stock that sells electricity to customers because if there are more electric vehicles in the future uh, than there are now then there will be a higher rate of electrical sales uh, presumably and some energy companies could do well and a lot of them pay very good dividends with all that in mind I'm going to begin looking at a stock here that you might want to consider for your portfolio portfolio. It's called Citizens Financial Group Incorporated. The symbol is CFG. It closed on Friday, August 6th at $43.97 and uh, looked two-thirds of the way down in the left-hand column. 52-week range, $23.46 to $51.14. So it had quite a uh, uh, run there between low and high and it is currently a little bit closer to the high than it is to the low. The average volume 4,362,000 shares trade every day and the experts consider this stock to be near fair value. It's priced the way it should be according to the uh, people who dug deep here. Uh, the third item down in the middle column, P.E. ratio, 9.81. That's very good. Anything under 10 is excellent. And the forward dividend and yield, about two-thirds of the way down the middle column, forward dividend and yield, 3.62%. And they get that with $1.56 being paid to the investor per share. And you'll notice they had an earnings, EPS, earnings of $4.48 so everything looks safe there as far as the dividend payment is considered. The one-year target price, the bottom of the middle column, $52. That would be a nice move up from where it is. So you're getting a dividend and possible a growth uh, play there at the same time. Next stock, international paper, symbol IP and the 52-week uh, range, two-thirds of the way down on the left-hand column, $34.81 to $65.27 and it's now $57.89 per share so it does have some headroom and it's still higher, closer to the high than it is to the low. The average volume, uh, about two and a half million shares trade every day and this one again is considered to be near fair value middle or, or the uh, third item down in the middle column PE ratio 20.26 which is higher than what I like but it's still a little bit lower than the um, entire market uh, has as its uh, PE ratio average the forward dividend and yield you get 3.54 percent for holding on to the stock and uh, that's a two dollar and five cent uh, dividend and you notice the earnings per share were above the two dollars and five cents and so the dividend appears to be safe uh, with a quick look at the numbers. One year target sixty seven dollars forty three cents that would be an incredible move upward for a stock that uh, is paying a pretty good dividend. Next we're going to look at an energy stock, in fact uh, it's called NRG Energy and if you spell uh, if you, yeah, if you spell NRG it's energy, NRG and the uh, 52 week range, two thirds of the way down the column on the left, $28.22 to $44.44 so it's very close to the high, the average volume about 3 million shares trade every day and this stock is considered to be undervalued which means um, people who studied it think uh, it's going to be going up. The P.E. ratio, third item down, middle column, 10. And that's uh, pretty nice. Uh, I, I like when they have 10 or less. This is slightly over 10.03. Um, forward dividend and yield, 3.10%. They only need $1.30 of that uh, $4.37 earnings per share. So the dividend looks pretty safe there. And you have a one-year target 
estimate of $47 per share. So that looks like it would be a good uh, stock right now. Prudential Financial Incorporated, PRU is the symbol, that's our next stock. $104.76, the closing price on Friday, August 6th of 2021. And the 52-week range, $60.16 to 109.17, so it's much closer to the high than it is to the low. Average volume, about 2 million shares, 1.9 million shares trade every day. The fair value uh, S, uh, analysis is that it, this stock is undervalued, meaning they think it's going to go up. And the P.E. ratio, third item down, middle column, 5.76, that's incredibly good, we like that. The forward dividend and yield, 4.39%. Now, is that $4.60 safe? Well, they made earnings per share of $18.20. This uh, looks pretty good just looking at the numbers. The one-year target, 107.17. So, I, I think that uh, looks good with a slight upward move, move on uh, a stock that's paying a high dividend. And I thank you very much for watching.